anyway, I'm gonna talk about. Oh, oh sorry. Like before that, please introduce yourself. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Carrie, and I'm living in Wuhan right now. Um, and I'm studying a master of tourism in Monash. And uh, this is my last master, but I can only uh, do online teaching through Zoom as well. So let's see, see you guys. Yay! Thank you. Hi guys, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for supporting my vlog and me doing this for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to have a conversation with my friend from Wuhan. I know that we, we are currently facing this COVID-19 outbreak and I know we are here in Indonesia to start self-isolation about like a week ago. It's hard for us and at the same time we also still see people out there being unresponsible going out and being think about they can get infected as well as they can be a career for someone to get infected. So this video will give you more we'll talk more about what is my friend did and doing during this self isolation how long she has been doing this and then i've already asked you guys too about uh on my instagram for the q a if you guys have questions for her and th in this video i'm going to ask that questions to her all right so hope you guys enjoy it hope you guys like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and give thumbs up enjoy hi guys now I have connected um, with my friend via zoom call so uh, she's from Wuhan as we we're talking about she's gonna talk about uh, the self-isolation that she has been doing until now and then also talking about the issue that we are currently facing at this moment about the panic buying and then uh, in this situation, people people are still going out unresponsibly. So those things. So I hope that my friend will give you some good insights about this issue now and this uh, coronavirus outbreak. So that's it. Great day. Hi, Gary. Hello, Ritsky. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good, I'm good. <laughs> Yay! So, oh my god, it's finally... It's been a while, right? I, I remember last time I, we met each other, it was November, right? Yeah, uh, November to early December in Fiji. Yeah, when we went to Fiji. Oh my god, it's been four months and then the um, bushfire happened in Australia. And then, <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I know. And then this uh, COVID-19 outbreak, oh my god, I have no idea what is happening in the 2020. But lucky that I have you. I have been worried about uh, this outbreak now. That's why I sent you my Instagram account and WhatsApp. I'm asking if you're okay, if you're a family and then uh, your friends are okay. But here, yeah, hopefully. Things get better now. Anyway, I'm gonna talk about. Oh, sorry. Like before that, please introduce yourself. Okay. Hi everyone. My name is Carrie, and I'm living in Wuhan right now. Um, and I'm studying a master of tourism. And um, this is my last master, but I can only uh, do online teaching through Zoom as well. So let's see, see you guys. Yay! So yeah. For you guys, she's actually, it's like a social media celebrity in Wuhan. What's the social media again? It's called Billy Billy. Oh yeah, Billy Billy. Yeah. I know. Ooh, how many followers you got? Um, 17,000. Woohoo! I hope that I can get a lot of followers now. 
Yeah. 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 I know this is this issue has been very scary, and then yeah. it's been very hard for you and people all around the world because of this uh, virus. Because first, people cannot go out, they cannot go to school. It's been hard for you to buy something uh, to go outside and buy groceries. You're in a minute this, and now that actually us as an Indonesian that we are um, facing at this moment, we start in the uh, so just uh, to get you a bit of the condition of us now. We're just starting the self isolation. I think school is starting from the 16th of March. So starting from that until the next week it's been like it's, it's gonna be two weeks they uh, stop that for two weeks and then offices some office already started already started it uh, since the 16th starting from the 16th but some of them just starting now and then in that situation I've already told you also about the news now is happening in Indonesia Indonesia the date the death rate in Indonesia, based on these news, is the highest, right? Yeah, yeah. First thing, I have no idea what is happening in Indonesia. So, first thing first, how many days have you been doing this self isolation? Um, we've been doing this uh, since uh, 23rd uh, January, so it's already 61 days. Wow. 61 days, oh my god! So you guys, you have to know, we just starting it a week, okay? A week. It's like 7 days. They have been doing it for 61 days. Imagine. My god. So, when when it started, like the self isolation started? Uh, it starts from uh, 23rd January. Yeah, and then when it starts? Do you actually facing, did you face the same issue like the panic buying where a lot of groceries are out of um, products, some some necessary amenities like toilet paper and then hand sanitizer and then uh, mask? Are you facing uh -huh. as well? So we before that we went to the uh, supermarket. So that's during the spring festival, mm -hmm. and, and we were uh, we we need to get something in, in stock. Mm -hmm. um, but we didn't feel that um, panic about stocking anything, especially a toilet paper. <laughs> I don't know why it's so like popular, like in foreign countries. Mm. Um, but uh, as for the mask, we prepared earlier before that because when I arrived in Wuhan, like in 18th, I, I wear masks um, when I go out even. So after that, we can't go out uh, even to um, the medis medical shop and the supermarket. So we can only like order from order online. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. I'm so sorry to hear that anyways, like it's happening all around her basically, but the thing is with you it's not that crazy because it just started, right? It starts from the country and then and it just happened. And then I actually have already done like asked uh, questions to my uh, followers, my friends on Instagram. So, and they, they want me to ask this question to you. Okay. Okay. So... Okay. Okay. So... First, it's from natalie.m633. So, Natalie is my ex-manager. She's asking, is it true we have this cure for this virus? Vaccine... Um we just tested some in some volunteers. Mm. So we just started. But, yeah, just started, and I think US is earlier than us. Mm. So 
probably like in in a year it can apply to um a lot of people but not now okay now just testing yeah all right <laughs> another next question it's from vanessa you know vanessa right yeah yeah we're we a teammate yay mm-hmm. vanessa asked me about i want me to ask you about how is life in wuhan now after 61 days of isolation and what has changed So now we are still in self isolation, mm-hmm. and so we we order everything online, and it will be delivered to the entry of your apartment, your community. You can fetch anything you order yep. and go back home. And any time you you go out, you wear masks and gloves and hat. Um, and every time we go back home, we, we take all the the clothes and hang it outdoors okay. and spray the alcohol. Mm. And if you go out for, for example, my dad need to work out, uh, need to work like every day, mm-hmm. so he needs to wash, like take a shower every time he uh, mm. come back home. Okay. Yeah. And, Yeah, just just entertain yourself at home. Okay. Nothing, nothing changed much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just I just got something interesting here. That something I, I I guess like in my house we haven't studied yet. So when after you go out, you put yeah. like the clothes, the mask, hat, and maybe something that you wear outside outside of the house, and then you spray yeah. disinfectant or alcohol, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we bring a small like alcohol in our pocket every time. We don't use um like lift. We just walk down by the yeah. stair. Yeah, and we we wear um a gla- glasses. Oh wow, glasses too. Oh my god, stairs and glasses. Interesting. All right. Next question is from my best friend. So her name is uh, Dinah, and it's because she's working in a pharmacy, so she cannot close the store, the pharmacy, because people need uh, the stuff, like the, the 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 medication from them. So this is actually her question. Wait a moment. Okay, she's asking about. I want to know how the pharmacy works during this period in Wuhan and because of this situation where ph- pharmacies cannot be closed for the sake of society because she's afraid people who come are not healthy and they can be a carrier of the virus so what do and don't as a pharmacy owner so you probably you probably don't know about do and don't as a pharmacy owner but It's more like if you want to order something from the pharmacy, what are you doing, and then what they do for you. Mm, okay, so so we we don't directly order food from a pharmacy. We, we order that through a supermarket or other stores. Mm-hmm. But the most important thing is they need to check the temperature of their workers. So mm. every day. You check three times. Yeah, if you below the temperature, you just let the people self isolated and just go back home. And and the other thing is they need to wear protective clothes, like you know, some very professional covered everything. Yeah, right. and you you need masks for everyone. Okay. So probably for you, Diana, if you. Think about like I know that you're scared now, but uh, what you can do, you can start doing the delivery service for people who are ordering, who are ordering uh, some medication from your pharmacy. And what happened then? You have to check the your employees every like three times a day. They uh, check the temperature of them three times a day, and then make sure that 
or clean, sterilize before entering the pharmacy. All right. So it's not spreading the virus, is not spreading to the people inside the pharmacy, and you definitely. Are you agree with that? Uh, yeah. Just check everyone who enter the pharmacy. They they are okay. Yes. Next question. It's from my friend Ahmed Ryan. So he asked about. Please tell us your life inside the quarantine. Was it like portrayed in the media? I don't think so because you look so pretty now. So. <laughs> Oh, quarantine. Um, for, for me, I, I didn't experience quarantine. Really? Because, because be, I, I just before I, I came back, they they haven't like locked down the Wuhan. Okay. So now, when, when the when other students uh, abroad, a Chinese student abroad, want to go back to China. To protect themselves, they need to do quarantine, mm. like for 14 days in in a designated hotels or something. So uh, it's not really comfortable, uh, <laughs> but it depends. Some some hotels very comfortable, but uh, don't treat like a like a trip or something. It, it's like war. So <laughs> the quarantine. Okay. And um, it's it's hot, a hot time. Yeah, yeah. I think. So it's yeah. like any like like what the media trade, right? The situation is not mm. nice. It, it's it, it, no. It, they, yeah, they they living in a good um condition. I mean, they have uh food. If you are free quarantine, you have free food, free um an apartment. To, to live like and you, you have everything you need yeah you just need an iPad with you <laughs> you're right so you can be yourself for 14 days yeah alone mm. alone yeah, so she's not going to a quarantine place because she went back to Wuhan before it started so but what happened when you got into Wuhan the government will provide you an apartment or a hotel room but it's not that nice it's just a de designated place for you to be alone to be quarantined and they will provide you food and all your necessary uh, necessities uh, yeah amenities that's it so it's like in the media yes because they are not having a good time there although it's not in an apartment and or, 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 although it is in an apartment or in a hotel but it's not that nice and then next question is it still from the same person what are the misconceptions about Wuhan and its relatedness with coronavirus oh. for example like people all in Wuhan are eating wildlife animal is that true I don't know uh, no no, no. Yeah. And a lot of guessing, like I, I believe you already heard a lot of guessing somewhere from like other countries, um, but we don't eat um, wildlife, mm. like really endangered animals or mm. or some strange animals, but mm. like we, we eat like healthy animals, of course. And yeah, and yeah. It, 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 the virus make Wuhan famous. <laughs> uh, that's that's a good thing. Yeah, okay. that's very interesting. So the misconception about Wuhan, there are some one of them, and it's not true anyway. Okay. Next question is coming from. No, it's actually still in the same person, but it's not. Come on, he said, "Are you seeing someone now? I'm available. Call me." And you stop. <laughs> So he is literally put a number, phone number here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he's actually asking about if you are single and seeing someone, please call me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a great. That's a good start. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Uh, this topic again, self isolation. 
is gonna be like the last question from this Q&A. So my friend Anissa, Anissa Nur Ramadani, asked about during your stay at home and be self-isolation, can you get a visitor? No, definitely no. Mm. You, you, you can't get visitors, even your best friend, your relatives. Mm, it, it's not good for people to gather together. Mm. Uh, even we have family members who just um, stay at home for most of the time. Mm. You know, just protect um, families. If you have one um, people got affected, the whole family will be yeah. in danger. So, so, so that's the answer. It's no. The answer is no. So you definitely not cannot invite even one person into your house because we don't know if about this person right and once once one of your family member get infected in your house you will get infected basically like that all right so that's the q a but i am still oh my god it's still it's, it's still scary right how do you actually entertain yourself during this out isolation that's the first question from me how do you entertain yourself? Because I saw that you are baking, I saw you cut your hair with your sister, it's so cute, oh my god! And then, uh, second is how you tone down your ego, your ego to go out. Because I just, like there's a lot of some news outside, people are still going out, hang out with friends, like they are with um, like unresponsibly going out and talk to uh, meet their friends and also they just invite them into their house during movie night I know like this self-isolation has been very very uh, boring no, I got it <laughs> but yeah, yeah how uh, what about you like about this yeah. isolation, especially you have done this for 61 days. Yeah, so the first principle is um, we need to respect our life. Mm. Do you agree? <laughs> we, we, we treasure our lives. So we, we need to protect ourselves and my family. Uh, I have my grandparents with me and, and my younger sister and brothers. Mm. So we live in the same family. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a basic principle and how to entertain ourselves that's very simple for a lot of people we if we don't have this virus some people just stay at home can stay for a long time right mm -hmm. so uh, like um, before before March uh, I haven't start my courses mm -hmm. so we, we we try to do a lot of things as you can see my uh, in story, we cook. So every Chinese at home, uh, cooking skills increase dramatically. <laughs> we can cook everything, and a lot of like um, different uh, cuisines. And and we have uh, TV dramas uh, from different apps. So they offer like a seven day free VIP. So you can so you can see a lot of free movies. You don't need to buy a VIP. Okay. And I, I do like manicure, pedicure at Ooh. home with my nails. <laughs> we have professional tools and um, reading books, on, and learning English sometimes, um, and like doing makeups. Even we don't hang out, we, we do hairstyle and, and haircut at home. like. Yeah, and we we treasure like every meals we we cook mm, good dinner at home. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think um, it is quite sad that I I can't go out. You know, I prepare a lot. I want to visit a lot of places in Wuhan with my younger sisters, and we uh, prepare to go to Shanghai Disney, mm. like uh, after this virus. Um, so it's all about 
love. Just love yourself, love your family, and you think everything doing at home is quite, quite wonderful. Because、um, I study in Monash for like one and a half year, I haven't experienced like a birthday with my family members. Every time I, I miss it、uh, for two years. Yay. So, it's time for a family reunion for like a three months or like four months. That's okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Just it was it was it was really amazing. So, so for you guys, if you're thinking about what should I do during this、um, uh, self isolation period, like her, you can do your hobby. You can read a book. You can. Uh, if you like makeup and hairstyling, you can do that. If you love watching a、uh, movie, just watch a movie. And then you can do video call. You can do vlog like what I did, what I'm doing now. And I also, if you see my Instagram account, I just upload a photo which I took yesterday. I took a picture of my sister and I did that because I edited that too because I love doing fashion photography too. So yeah, that's a moment you actually can do. Your hobby, so like, why not? And spend time with your family, get a family bonding better, and then learn something new. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with self isolation. It's just a bit boring, yes, because we are not used to that. But we are trying for the better world, for the better situation. All right, just to recap a bit about all that we have、uh, been talking so far. So there's some points that I feel I learned from you. All right. First, when you go out, you wear all the protection, and after that, you put you put everything outside your house and try to、uh, sanitize them, so you don't bring the virus inside the house. That's important. And then use stairs. Oh my god! And that's true, because in in the lift in the elevator.、Uh, elevator You're actually in a small space with other people, right?、Yeah. And then about the desig-、uh, designated hotel and for the quarantine, amazing. Mask is important, I know, but hopefully things get better now. And then remember, this is different from flu, right? This is different. So it's not as simple as that. I know the.、Uh, Um, I mean, like the people who who get infected and who who's been cured from that too. It's not that it's not as dangerous、uh, dangerous as any other virus like SARS and MERS. But still, if you love your family, if you love your family and friends, if you love your、uh, people around you in your community, just tone down your ego. And then just stay inside, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and the experts say this is like、um, worse than the SARS.、Mm. The, oh. The death rate, yes,、yeah, is worse, definitely worse than that. Wow. And and still, we don't have like many medicine to cure that. That's、mm. the the most important. Thing. We don't have vaccine to 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 save your life for the moment.、Yeah. If you get that. Forget that.、Yeah. If you, you can survive from that, otherwise you're gonna die. Yeah. And one, I, I actually still have one more question. Like it's been another issue actually about、uh, this virus is actually a conspiracy. People assume that as a conspiracy. So there is like a an organization, a lab. Laboratory in Wuhan, who's、uh, making this virus for business. So once this virus spread, they can sell the vaccine and everything. What do you think?、No. So it, it's man-made actually the virus. Um. So it's definitely not made in Wuhan. We would not make it and affect the whole. So I heard most of the rumors are from the US,、yeah. and because of the military gain, world military gain, yeah, that bring that. But it, it's just、uh, guessing from a lot of people still、um, 
not confirmed. Mm. Uh, and a lot of rumor like you know uh, the same the same symptoms and same cases mm. already happened earlier in Italy in US, but yeah. at that time they still don't they didn't know what's that and okay. they just think that's a flu. Yeah, a lot of like guessing, but it's definitely not yeah. originated from Wuhan. It's not made in Wuhan, definitely. No. Exactly. So for you guys, please don't assume anything, anything about the conspiracy because if you want to live in a better world, in a world with peace, please just uh, just stop making assumption, okay? So this is a, a, a terrifying situation, we all scared about that, now we should be together and think about to solve this problem together. And then, last thing, so I want you to uh, give some message to people in Indonesia of, of in facing this self-isolation. Because one thing that you should proud of as people from Wuhan, that I got, I, I just read a new news saying that now the government, the government in Wuhan actually uh, lower the restriction of people from Wuhan for this self-isolation because for the last three days, for the last three days, no, no, no one get infected in Wuhan. So please give us message in order to do this with peace and tone down our ego and just like being responsible to stop this virus from spreading. Yeah, so um, I, I thank still our government because um, you know a lot of people they, they won't just uh, stay at home like for a long time. They just don't listen, they want freedom. <laughs> but um, like it's it's hard for everyone, not just for oneself or a, a family um, every every family that suffer we, we heard a lot of news that um, a lot of people died a lot of like quite famous people um, like doctors died I, I think the, the most um, you, you heard a lot of like death in, in this in this um, situation you're gonna you're gonna thank the all the nurses and the doctors in, in the first line. You, you you can't imagine how terrible they experience. They work like continually for 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 a month without any rest, and and they got f infected easily. So what we can do is don't let the die the people who died died like for no reason. We, we we need to to let the their their death meaningful. They die for the whole society. Um, so just don't be selfish and 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 hold your meaningless ego. <laughs> uh, Carrie, thank you so much. It was an amazing, worthy conversation. I miss you so much. Please be safe. Stay inside. <laughs> I know yeah. it's hot. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy your online course. I know it's hot. I'm graduated already. So it's just, yes, finally I'm done. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Good luck with everything, okay? Thank you. All right, see ya, Gary. Yeah, bye bye. So, guys, please, as Carrie said, please. Don't be selfish. Consider about people who are in the first first line of this of curing for, for curing this virus. So please don't be selfish. Consider them, the nurse, the doctors who died to cure it and create the better world for us. Okay? Don't make them die for nothing. Alright? So guys, thank you so much for watching. 
I hope you guys uh, get a lot of information about doing this self isolation in our country from my friend Gary from Wuhan who has been doing this for 61 days. All right, don't forget to subscribe and like and share this vlog, this video to your friend so they know what they have to do. All right, all right, see ya.